looking for you. Where have you been? Oh, um, I, I've been around. Mm -hmm. I found the union books, the ones you left on my desk. Very smart of you, Angel. Very glad you finally decided to cooperate. I mean, I, I wouldn't have put those those books on your desk, Damon, if I didn't know the score, you well, know? That's very good. Very good, Angel. I can see you're starting to think ahead. It's very good. What are you doing down here? Oh, uh, nothing much. I, I thought I'd go over to Kelly's and get a bite to eat, you know? What's wrong with the club? Oh, the, ki the kitchen's closed. Hey, listen, would you like to go over and have a cup of coffee with me? Huh? What do you say? Let's go. I have business elsewhere. Oh, I almost got caught. You gotta be more careful. It's dangerous playing both sides of the street. I know, I know, but this is important. What do you got? Look, I overheard, I overheard Damon on the call to Sister Island. He said Angus was on a ship and that the ship was pulling into the inner harbor. Go on. He also, he also said that, that Angus was preparing a way for Pilgrim's arrival. I don't know. What the hell is a Pilgrim? I don't know, but you know, he also said something else that didn't make any sense too, Frisco. He said that, he said that the disc would be safe in the loop. That Duke's office was already searched by the police and there was no danger. What does all that mean? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Duke does. Oh, hello. We got a million things to do before Bobby's wedding. Oh, no. The brownstone wedding. What's the matter? Catering that reception, you remember? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. But I got this terrible head cold and it just slipped my mind. You been that busy? No. Uh, I, I, I got a phone call a minute ago. That means that we got all the business we need for one day. Well, what is it, a big convention in town? Or? No, there's, there's this big fancy yacht that's, that's anchored inside the harbor, and they called a few minutes ago, and they wanted a deluxe catered lunch today. And when I mean, what I mean deluxe, I mean deluxe. Caviar, champagne, the whole works. Sounds very mysterious. Very. You know, the guy who called in the order wouldn't even identify himself. Uh, he said they would send a launch over for the food. <laughs> I bet that yacht is loaded with big shots. Security? Yes. You know they won't let anybody on the uh, on the yacht without one of the pub's catering cards. They were very uh, explicit about that. They said no one gets on that launch without proper ID. Let me see the menu. Get on the horn and make sure we can order all this stuff on such short notice. Right. Right. Oh, Robert. Yes. Yeah. Well, where are you when I need you? Damon Grenville. Damon? We have to get together. We'll meet in the Asian Quarter in about an hour. Fine. Where do I meet you? Well, we'll go down to the catacombs. Catacombs? I never heard of catacombs in Port Charles. Neither have most people. Those underground tunnels are used mostly by the people who live in the quarter. No chance of anyone overhearing us while we're there. Angel story. What do you think? The disc is safe in the Louvre. There's no more danger in Duke's office. Damn it, that means the police have missed finding some sort of floppy disk. That has tumble dry records printed on. I've got to get back into that office. If Angus is on that boat, it means the mob are getting ready to make their move. Here's what I want you to do. Visit Duke. Keep him calm. These are crucial times right now. There's no telling what sort of condition he's in now that Anna's visited him. Just hope that doesn't happen again. Not if she's smart. Tell him there'll be no more visits from Anna. It's too dangerous. All right. Any other messages? Find out what safe in the Louvre means if you can. Now, it's, it's obvious that Damon's had the money laundering information transferred from hard disk to floppy disk, which means the hard disk has probably been erased. All right. All right, I'll make it as fast as I can. Watch yourself. Don't worry. Cook it. Where do you want it? In the kitchen. Here, I'll show you where. Okay, yeah, thanks, okay. sweetheart. Oh, it's, it's, it's crooked. 
Claudia, a piece, okay? All I said was it was crooked. It's not what you're saying, it's the way you're saying it. There's supposed to be a nice wedding here today. Let's call a small truce. <laughs> truce. <laughs> truce. <laughs> oh, all right, thanks. Oh, so glad to see you. What's up? I thought I was going to ask you the same thing. You're the only one I can really talk to about what you're doing. Oh, I haven't heard a thing from you, sir. Joe, it's Olin. I got Frisco with me. Hey, thank you, Olin. Anytime, Kenneth. I'm going crazy in here. What's happening? I don't have much time, so I'm going to be straight with you. Robert was really angry that Anna came down here. She's putting her life on the line, Duke. Now, she's off limits coming down here. I just got to be straight with you about that. I don't want any lectures, thank you. I just want you to know where Robert stands with this. The world has to think that Duke Labor goes dead. That's the only way we're keeping you alive. I need to pick your brain about something. Yeah, well, you're welcome to what's left of her. Angel overheard a conversation Damon was having. It was in code. I was able to decipher the name Pilgrim. Does that mean anything to you? No, no damn thing. We couldn't figure it out either. He was able to come up with one other thing. The disc is in the Louvre. Does that mean anything to you? No, it doesn't mean anything. Hey, what's happening with Angel? He's playing a dangerous game. Don't worry about Angel. He's holding up his end just fine. Don't go crazy down here, all right? I'll be, yeah. I'll be back to keep you posted. Hey, Fort Charles, you've got it. It's Damon's voice. Let's go to Ramsey. Well, everything's on schedule. Angus is on Sister Island and just waiting for the pilgrim's arrival. Well, with Duke dead, we won't have any problem bringing the rest of our people here to Port Charles. <laughs> Happy retirement, Miss. What's happening with your end of the operation? Well, everything's moving very smoothly. Angel turned over the books. You'll be amused to know that Duke tried to smurf a whole bunch of money through the union, uh, the dock workers union fund. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we'll see that that money stays in the dock workers family as a, a courtesy to Duke. Ah, yes. The dock workers savings and loan. I'll be on the board of directors, so I'll make sure that money is put to good use. <laughs> Anything else? End of report. Ah, everything is falling into place very nicely. Our expatriates from Europe will be coming over with a nice bunch of money. With Duke dead and out of the way, we're going to take over this city. Hey, I better get back to headquarters. You stick here a couple of minutes. I don't want anybody to see us leaving together. That God. I heard one set of footsteps. Are you sure? Island's the key to bust in this organization, Duke. I'm gonna get to Robert. Okay, almost good for the wedding has been delivered. What about the catering for the yacht luncheon? It's not ready yet. <clears throat> um, have you decided who's going to deliver the food on board ship? No, I haven't thought about it yet. Me, I'm volunteering. You? I don't know, Felicia. Come on, I need the money, and that's one table I'd really like to wait on. Yeah, you'd probably make enough money to retire on the spot. Yes, that's right. Well, Red, you know I'm your best waitress, and I can't mess up. Come on, you know that. Okay, okay, it's true. You got the job. The yacht's name is the Sister Island. But if you mess up, don't come back here, because you're going to be fired as mm -hmm. soon as your foot hits the dock. I understand. Thank you. Okay, I got to go in the kitchen and check on the order. I'm so glad to see you. Well, Robert, what did you say what's happening? I've been frantic trying to find Frisco and Robert. Something big's going on. What? Red got a call from a yacht. It's just outside the harbor. They're having a big luncheon today. From the sound of it, the guest list is very exclusive. Sister Island. Yes, Sister Island. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to tell Robert and Frisco. 
Right. They promised they'd be at Bobby's wedding. Okay, come on. Okay. Ramsey's retirement is cover to get the thugs into town. The timing couldn't be better. Double dry. All on this disc. Your ticket into the mob. All the way in. All the way. Can you handle it? I can handle it. Well, is this the right address? Just what address are you looking for, gentlemen? We heard there's going to be a wedding here today. In that case, I'm fit. Thank you. So glad you're here. Well, where else would I be, huh? We put some rather good news for you. Mm hmm. So do we. Why don't you hang on to this and put it in a safe place? And what's on it? One guess. It's the floppy disk with all the tumble dry information on it. Oh, thank you. Oh, Friska. Well, Robert's the hero, huh? He's the one who found. Now look, we've got to find a way to get on board this boat. We already figured out a way. Oh, you did, did you? Well, actually, Felicia found a way. Right. No. <clears throat> this is too dangerous this time. You're not included. I've been hired to serve a catered lunch on Sister Island in exactly two hours. And if the two of you behave yourselves, I might let you come along with me and keep me company to pick up the food for Sister Island. No, sweetheart. I am going. It's only fair that I hope to put the whole no, thing it's together. Too Enough. There is no way you are setting foot on board that boat, Absolutely right? Absolutely not. If this could go, then I think that I should go. Stop, are you being please ridiculous? Please keep quiet. This is a wedding. Have some respect. All right, now, it's too dangerous for anyone to go on board Sister Island. Nothing is too dangerous if we can take out the mob, hmm? Oh, Robert. Honey, what about this luncheon? What time is it? The meal is supposed to be served promptly at one o'clock. Mm -hmm. How do you get on board? The launch is coming to pick up pub personnel and all the supplies on the dock. The security is very tight, so we need personal identification cards from the pub. And um, how do you get some of those? Red usually keeps some behind the counter. Good. I want you to get two. One for Frisco, one for myself, please. I did. Two. Hey, guys, what do you know? We got a couple of invitations to poor Sister Island here. And I also have one for me. Why don't we move over here so I can discuss a plan with you? Friends, we are gathered here today to join Jake Meyer and Bobby Spencer in the bonds of holy matrimony. Jake and Bobby have decided to uh, recite their own wedding vows, which they will now do. Jake? Bobby and I first got together as two friends to share a house. A house we now want to make our home by pledging our commitment to each other. I will honor her in sickness and in health. Care for her from this day forth. And 
love her for as long as we both shall live. Your turn, kiddo. Jake and I want to share our happiness with all of our friends as we pledge to spend the rest of our lives together. I promise to honor and obey Jake when he is right <laughs> and to respect him always, right or wrong, and to love him no matter what lies ahead. I promise I will follow Jake wherever he goes. I will follow his call because he's my husband and my helpmate and because he loves me. Take thee, Bobby Spencer, as my lawful wedded wife. I love you. And I will be your best friend. Your lover. And care for you for as long as we both shall live. And I take you, Jake, to be my lawful wedded husband. I love you. Be your best friend and your lover and i will care for you and protect you for as long as we both shall live the rings please thanks buddy yeah. with this ring i thee wed Now, by the power vested in me, I pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. I promised Jake and Bobby I'd try to make it. Yeah. How are you, Anna? I'm absolutely fine, Bert. You've made a fast recovery from Duke's death. Well, Anna's a bit like I am, Bert. You know, once uh, someone you love betrays you, you never really get over it. Well, I uh, better congratulate the bride and groom, if you'll excuse me. Then I have to get back to the office. Sure, mate. I don't think anyone's watching me now. You should leave. Wish me luck. Congratulations to both of you. Now, I hope you'll forgive me because I just wanted to at least wish you well, but I've got a lot of work. it was nice to have you come. Thank you. And we know you have to go back to work. Best to you always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Oh, yes. Well, uh, what happened? Did uh, Robert abandon you? Oh, no. He went to the kitchen on an errand of mercy. I'm starving. Huh. And apparently there's lots of patties, so come on. Oh, no, no, Anna. I, I really can't. I, uh... Gee, I'm late getting back to the office. Oh, why don't you stick around and have, some, have a good time with Bobby? Okay, um, I wanted to say thank you for covering for me. Uh, isn't that what a uh, co-chief is for? Bye now. See you soon. Yeah. We made it, huh? You got everything? One deluxe lunch and parade with all the trimmings, including three spies to serve it. They're going to love all of this food. Let's get on board. Do some ID? Uh, yeah. Uh, 
Uh, listen, just give me a moment to check everything on my list here. We don't want to leave anything behind. Give us a hand here, will you? Uh, Where's the dessert? Well, I brought it. It's got to be in here. I don't see it. Look in here. What's that in the bottom? I can't find it. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go to Kelly's instead of the pub. It's closer. Don't leave without me. Hey. Wait, no luck? Nothing. I can't understand it. It's working perfectly when we left the yacht. Uh, you get a problem there, huh? Runabout down there, it's uh, mine. You're welcome to use it if you want. I reckon we'll have to. Well. Get this out of here and down there, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, thanks. This'll do. Okay. Uh, Stack in there, Frisco. Right over. Ah, uh, that one too. Yeah. Uh, okay. Listen, we'll, uh... We'll send somebody back for you when we get to the yacht. No bother. One of us will ride out with you. Okay. No problem. We insist. All right. Somebody cast off, please. It's Damon. We raised Sister Ryland and they mentioned your name. They sounded if they wanted you this afternoon, but then we got nothing but static. Okay, Damon, just take it easy. Don't panic. I've got some paperwork to do here, so I'll just wait here for your call. How was the wedding? Oh, that was fine. Uh, by the way, uh, Scorpio was there, so um, he's not going to interfere with our plans. 